Hi there, this is a lecture about flood fill algorithms. If you're a programmer, you want to do a really fast flood fill algorithm, which is really easy to write and does 10 million voxels a second or 17 million pixels per second. Uh, check this out, all right? It's really straightforward. This is your canvas. Make three copies of your canvas. Write them in XY arrays in your memory, okay? A recursive algorithm, we'll study there, are easy to write and they perform like uh, pretty dodge. So recursive goes like this. And you're probably just like, you explode the image like into uh, a one megabyte image will go into a um, 300 megabyte image in RAM. So the topic of this lecture <coughs> is what happens if you put a recursive algorithm into a loop. So you throw away the recursive, you just keep the actual maths that's going on in there and run it in a loop. So that is the topic of the thing. So we're going to run the code in a loop. So it goes like this. You've just put your code for the old recursion that you started with in a loop. It goes along like this. That's your loop running x, y. By the way, when it gets to the y, it just skips them. It goes unfilled, unfilled, unfilled. It jumps all the instructions until it gets to a, a verified one. Okay, and we'll jump over to the uh, code so you can see. Is these, basically. This is a little cross that we've been doing. So we'll go to the next loop. Uh, if you want, you can loop just the same loop over and over again. Just run the loop until all the gray, you don't find any gray. Just count the gray every loop. And you filled your image when all the grays, when there's no new grays in the new pass of the loop. Okay, so, because that means, so you could run it the same way and it would kind of do like this on the second pass. And then on the third pass, it would do like this and like that, etc. So it's really kind of cool. And if you want to make it a lot faster, you run one times forwards the loop and one times backwards. So we've run the loop forwards. Uh, now we're going to run it backwards from here. OK, so skip, 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 skip. It's two free instructions. Gray is about 10 instructions. It means just do this, do that, do this, do that, do this. All right. So that's very easy concept to figure out this is just some it's a recursive code that's been put in a loop so in two loops you filled in a pretty complicated image and if you have like a really spongy image which is like a maze to go around loads of corners then uh, you'll have to uh, do um, more copies of the loop uh, um, so this maths and this method works for uh, all types of canvases and voxels if you have colours, you just do, um, is it this colour, yes or no? So it's kind of the same as a black or white. Um, so what you need to do to do this really easily in code, first you need three copies of the canvas in X, Y arrays in memory, so that when you arrive in a, one of these little greys, every time you find a grey, you read from the verified copy of the ray which keeps them all say is this you know well no sorry every time you read a new pixel you say is it gray is it empty or is it full that's basically and and basically your first step of the and if it's gray you'll do one of these you'll do one of those on it and if it's already full you'll skip to the next pixel so you just jump the loop to the next so um there we go. Um, it's part of the if, that's what it is. Uh, so you do three copies of memory. You should get there. It's pretty easy. And it's 10 million pixels, voxels, whatever per, per second. It's very good code. Thanks a lot. Bye.